Today's lecture continues our series on cranial nerves with cranial nerve 11, the spinal accessory nerve. Now, the spinal accessory nerve has two points of origin. On the lateral and inferior portion of the medulla oblongata within the cranium is called the cranial part, as well as down below on the spinal cord, which is called the spinal part. Now, the spinal aspect of the cranial nerve comes up the spinal cord, goes through the foramen magnum, where it meets up with the cranial aspect of cranial nerve 11, and together they proceed anteriorly through the jugular foramen, where they eventually innervate both the trapezius muscle and the sternocleidomastoid. The type of fibers which the cranial nerve 11 has are motor fibers, and its function is to shrug the shoulders with the trapezius muscle, as well as rotate the head with the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Now, a result of a lesion of cranial nerve 11 would result in muscle wasting and weakness. Since the fibers of cranial nerve 11 are only motor, it is relatively easy to test the cranial nerve function on a physical exam. To test the trapezius muscle, you can simply ask the patient to shrug their shoulders and to test the sternocleidomastoid, you can simply ask the patient to rotate their head. You might even see uh, muscle wasting along with the weakness and even a drooping of the shoulders with trapezius uh, wasting and you might even see an unevenness in the neck with sternocleidomastoid muscle wasting. And this is cranial nerve number 11.